Hi, my name is Jason Morell, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Notice on level two, we're using bullets instead of numbers, but it's still multi leveled numbering. If you find this video useful, you'll find some downloadable resources, including this working template, in the description below. Let's maximize this screen. Select the text and go to the multi-level numbered icon and choose Define New Multi-Level List. As I always do, I'm going to wipe this out and build this from scratch. So the number style for the first level is simply a one, two, three style numbering, followed by a dot. Level two is going to be a bullet instead of a number. So let's wipe this box out here. And if you look at the number style for this level, the list, and scroll down a little bit, you'll find some bullet styles that are ready to use, just ready to go. So you can choose any of those straight off the bat. Or if you want to customize and build your own, you can choose new bullet. That's what I'm going to do here. Now, when you do that, it gives you a dialog box. This is the symbol dialog, which you may have seen in other places. And it basically breaks down every character from every font. So what we're looking at is the Calibri Light font here. And as you can see, here's my double chevron that you saw in the example at the beginning of this video. Now I'm going to use that again in just a moment, but take a look at my recently used symbols and you can see all sorts of things that might give you some inspiration. If you want a good symbol set, if you go down to the bottom of the list and you scroll up a little bit until you find the Wingdings fonts. So there's one called Wingdings there, Wingdings 2 and Wingdings 3. Let's just pick one of these as an example. It contains all sorts of symbols that you may want to use as a bullet. In fact, rather than going back and searching again for the other one, let's just choose one that I haven't used before. Maybe this one here. And click OK. Now when you choose a bullet, the standard bullet size is often too small for the text that follows it, especially if you're using it on headings. So you can always go to the font button here. And first of all, we can choose maybe a different color. So you might want to choose maybe an orange bullet and also the size. And what I suggest is that you go up to about size 20-ish, somewhere around there. It takes a bit of trial and error to find one that works, but you can always come back in here and try again if you need to. And click OK. And that is our bullet style for level two. There's a preview there. So before we go back to the document, let's click the more button and just attach level one to a style, heading one. And let's link level two to the style called heading two. That just makes our life easier up here in terms of applying the styles. So let's click OK. Everything starts off on level one. But if we take level one there and apply heading one, if we select just the level twos and press tab to indent, we can of course use the styles that are now at the top there. That's what it currently looks like. So I'd say that bullet's probably a little bit big for this size text on level two. So not a drama. We go straight back to the multi-level numbered icon, choose define new multi-level list. That brings up all the current settings. On level two, we're gonna click the font and just reduce the font size, let's say down to a, a 40. Let's try that. Click OK and OK again. And that's actually much more reasonable. In terms of the spacing between the bullet and the text, that's all to do with the aligned at and the text indent at. So very quickly, let's go back in again. In fact, we don't need to select it even. Go back to the multi-level numbered icon, define the new multi-level list. Let's go to level one first of all. Zero centimeters fine. That just means the number for level one is on the margin, but we're going to indent at one centimeter to use whole numbers. And then for level two, we're going to align at one centimeter and indent at two centimeters. That gives it a bit more breathing space. And when we click OK, that's looking much more reasonable. So you can use bullets anywhere in your numbered sequence on any number of levels. And I find the easiest way to control them is to attach each level to a style. The most obvious ones are heading one through to the heading nine styles because they're easily accessible from the styles gallery. So if this video helps you or gave you some inspiration or some ideas, please share them in the comments below. It's always appreciated. I'll see you in the next one.